If you are a Cricut Explore or Maker owner who uses the VR Memory Keepers Foil Quill and are wondering about the new foil line type in Cricut Design Space, you are in the right place. This video has been recorded on September 25th, 2020, a couple of days after Cricut has released the Foil Transfer Kit. At this point in time, only the Cricut influencers have their hands on the tool and the pressure sensitive foils. But we do have access to the foil option in the Cricut Design Space. Those of us who have been using the WRMK foil quill with their Cricut machines for quite some time are well aware of the fact that foil and cut has been a complex thing to do. Because whichever hack we used, there were either alignment issues or the dreaded pause button emergency or we had to game the machine and the system to think that we were changing pens. So it would pause for us to remove the foil. This experiment will show how the new update in Cricut Design Space will enable us to foil and cut. I'll change the line type to foil, which foil type does not matter because Cricut cannot read whether the correct tool is in its clamp. So I'll just go ahead and select foil. Okay, so the color can be changed from here. I'll just let it be golden because I'm going to foil golden foil. Then I'm going to create a rectangle which would be cut. I will unlock the aspect ratio. Uh, I'll just drag it below the attached layer and change its color to white so that I can see the design in a better way. And then I'm going to center everything. Next I'm going to click attach so that all these layers are attached together. And then I'm going to click make it. Now I'm going to position the design on the mat where I have placed my cardstock and foil on the cardstock. Once I'm satisfied by checking the exact square locations. Now I'm going to insert the mat in Cricut Design Space. Press the arrow button. Next we will click continue. It will check for the machine. I will set the base material to be the same as the cardstock that I'm using. When I click on edit tools, it will show me what all things are there needed. It says load foil transfer tool in the B clamp. But we are going to use our foil quill tool. So what I'm doing is I have removed my blade, my fine point tip. And then I'm going to remove my cricket adapter that comes with foil quill. My quill is already heated. Now you see this is the first time I did that and I did not clamp it well. You see that the tip is a little above the lock and uh, you'll see what happens next when I click the cricket button over there. It gets ready to foil and then you see the quill rising in the clamp because it is not lashed properly. So I pressed the pause button over here, removed it and then I made sure that in the software side I clicked the resume from beginning button. Then I clamped the tool again. Okay so I had to take this quick break to tell you that there is a difference in the heights of these two tools. This was just mentioned to me by Kay Hall and she told that there is a headroom that is required. So what I've done is I have pushed it in the clamp B but it is not fully inserted. So if you see my video correctly you'll see it is somewhat like this in the clamp. So it has made up for the distance that is required for the quill to be away from the, the mat and the material. This time properly and deeper. I made sure that it was snug and I clicked the C button again. This time the foiling worked perfectly. Next the machine stopped and the software guided me for the next steps which involved removing the foil which I did. Next it was time to remove the transfer tool which in this case is the foil quill. And I will replace this tool 
by the fine point tip and then I will press the C button and that gave me the perfect cut. Okay, now to wrap things up. We load the single line design as usual. Then from the line type menu, we choose foil. Here the tip size does not matter. We do not attach the C adapter to the quill and make sure it is heated and clamped in clamp B. We prepare the mat as usual. Here we can change the pressure settings if we like. Then we follow the instructions on the software to foil. The machine will pause by itself and the software screen will guide you to do the next steps which are to remove the foil, swap the transfer tool, in this case the foil quill, with the fine point blade and then we press the cut button. It is as simple as that. If you are interested in the design used in this video, it is a freebie and there is a link to it in the description box. Do check the Funland website to find freebies and more foil and cut designs to come. Subscribe for more videos and product updates. Have a wonderful day and remember to have fun crafting. Bye bye.